making a plant-based sausage and mash tonight so I thought I would share my recipe with you um it's kind of a basic recipe taken from uh for normal sausages I've just tweaked it so that it's more to my taste I don't like leeks so I've replaced the leeks with onions um so I'm making sage and onion mushroom sausages uh, I'm not like keen on leeks so uh, and I'll show you how I make my mashed potato as well because my husband really likes it but he likes his lumpy so if you like smooth like mashed potato invest in a ricer because that's the smoothest that you'll get it for you have to excuse me with no glass so they are killing my eyes at the moment I've got to go back to the opticians and get them sorted so I shall show you what I've got in my pan so ready to boil nearer the time I've got uh, this is kind of, I'm using up leftovers, so um, kind of I've got the potatoes that were left in a bag in there: white potato, sweet potato, and carrots. I normally put parsnip in there because I really like the taste of parsnip in um, mashed potato. I don't have any parsnips left, so nearer the time I will boil that. So I will boil all that until it's all soft. Then I will mash it with my trusty masher. Um, I, ne I never get all the carrots so that's why it ends up with lumps in it but I also put lumps in because I add once I've mashed it I add a little bit of oat milk whatever we've got in the fridge oat milk almond milk um, to it just to give it a bit more of a creamy texture and then I um, stir through some red onions until they're warm and it gives it a little bit of crunch and a bit of texture so that's how I do my mashed potato. Um, I've also got to start making the sausages pretty soon. So to make the sausages, um, I have one white onion, a cup of mushrooms, and I will ha also have, I'm reading my recipe now, um, I have lentils left over in the fridge that I didn't use the other day. Uh, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, one tablespoon to two tablespoons of a flour, so I'm just going to use my basic gluten-free flour, salt and pepper to taste, and I'm going to probably put a good tea teaspoon to two teaspoons to a tablespoon maybe of uh, dried sage in there, so I get my sage and onion um, sausages. So um, I will show you what I'm doing and I'll put the recipe below. And uh, if anyone's interested in anything I'm using, I'm happy to put the links below as well. And yeah, I'll so get like your mushroom paste should kind of look like. It doesn't look like much once you've blended it. But it's just enough to kind of like form the patties. It's kind of your binder. Um, so uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you what it looked like. At this point, I'm just about to add my lentils. If you don't panic, it looks wrong. It will start to look like a big sticky mess. Um, I'm going to let this cool down now and then I'll be forming my sausage patties. My sausage shapes. And then I'll be starting to boil the veg. So whilst this cools, I think I'm going to go and change Rosie's. Bottle. So these are my sausage shapes. Yes, I do know what they probably resemble. Um, but this is probably what sausages look like before they actually get put in their cases. Um, so, yep, nothing in here but just lovely plant-based food. Hopefully they will go down a treat tonight. Rosie is having sandwiches because she had a hot dinner at nursery, so there won't be a Rosie verdict tonight. But I'll do them again at another point and uh, uh, post what she thinks as well. So I'm going to get my veg boiling so I've got time to mash it as well. And then I'm going to preheat my oven as well for 180 so yeah I'll show you when they're finished I hope you enjoyed the video I actually filmed it last time I made the sausages so uh, excuse me spinning trying to find the right light it keeps moving um so last time they were uh, hurting my eyes I've since been back and um they're still not feeling right but I got advice off the manager to not take them off they will take a while to get used to which is not what I was told the first three people 
If anyone would like a video on how to get used to glasses and what I'm currently feeling, I'm happy to do one. Uh, please comment below because everyone who I know who wears glasses and has always worn them couldn't tell me what it felt like when they first started to wear them. They, they, they couldn't remember, it was that long ago. I was meant to be making it again tonight, um, but uh, my husband's come home ill so he's not going to be eating tonight. I'll keep up in a second. So, um, yeah, uh, we're, I'm not going to make sausages just for me and my daughter tonight. So we're probably going to have Linda McCartney ones on top because I don't even know if she's going to like it. So I'll let you know in the next video if she did like the sausages, or the, the mash at the very least, because it'll be her first time trying it. Uh, she's currently wearing a Moana necklace hiding behind the bin. So we are going to try for a nap in a minute, and if she doesn't nap, we're going to go to TV. Oh no. Okay. Ta-ta from me, ta-ta from the Rosie Bear.